To make your symmetrical monarch butterfly, you're going to start by opening your paper like a book. And you'll take your stick with a pom-pom attached, dip it in the ink, and four fingers from the top and four fingers from the bottom, you're going to draw a line from here to here. And four fingers from the bottom. Then make a little bump here for the head. It's kind of like a real tall skinny bee with the top being smaller than the bottom like that. And then before your ink dries, just fill it in, working quickly. Dip a couple times. If it drips, don't worry. It'll sort of just blend in with the design of the butterfly. Fold it. Rub. Open. And it creates the body. We're only going to paint on one side and we're going to transfer it onto the other to make it symmetrical. Symmetrical means same on both sides. It didn't print all the way, so I'm just going to use my pom-pom stick and fill it in nicely. Now you do that. Now I'm ready to do the antenna. I'm just going to do a little line and then just a little tiny bit of a direction change right at the top. Fold, press, transfer. Now if you need to, mine transfer pretty well, but if you need to trace in some that didn't transfer that well, go ahead and do that. Now you do it. Next we're going to make a line right under where the head is. That would be sort of the shoulders of the butterfly. We're going to make a line that goes from that part almost to the corner, but not quite. Leave some space there. And before that paint dries, I'm going to press, fold, and press. Open. It's very light right there. I can see it still. Then I'll retrace. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Not quite to the tip of there and not quite to the corner, fold and rub. Fill in the line if you need to. Now you do it. Next, I'm dipping my pom-pom in the ink right in the middle of the top and the bottom line, I'm going to just do a horizontal line about halfway out on the wing. Now I'm going to split it and I'm going to go up to the top and then I'm going to go back to that spot and go down to the bottom. So I'm going to take and bring this around and I'm going to make the tip sort of rounded. Butterfly tip wings are sort of rounded in, at the tips. And there we go again. Round that out and do it quickly so that your ink doesn't dry. Then it'll transfer nicely. And that's okay if it spreads out a little bit. There's a lot of black on a monarch butterfly. In fact, this is a partial wing of a monarch butterfly. And you can see it goes that way, I believe. No, this way. And you can see that it's rounded, okay, at the tip. There's a lot of black on it, so don't worry if yours isn't just perfect. It doesn't have to be. It's all going to blend together and in the design. And you can, you can, if you make a mistake, you can actually incorporate that into your design. So I'm going to move those up above. I'm going to look at those again when we do our design. And remember, this doesn't have to look exactly like a monarch. Everybody's is going to be a little bit different. Now the next thing, actually you, you do that part now, and then we'll go on to 
putting some designs in the wings. Make sure that you're only drawing on one side and then transferring onto the other. Then it's going to be symmetrical. All right, now we're going to add some designs. So I'm going to take my sponge again, my or not my sponge, that's my pom-pom. And I'm going to start back at the same spot where I made that upper line. And I'm just going to make a loop sort of that connects with the top. That's this shape right there. And then there's a lot of little dots up here. But first I'm going to fold it because I don't want my ink to dry. Oh, I can barely see it, but I can just. So I'm just going to trace that in. Now you do it. Next, we're going to take and go one, two, three, and then transfer it. I just noticed that I was draw I was painting on this side and transferring it on that side. It really doesn't matter which side you draw it on, as long as you just um, transfer it or paint it and then transfer it onto the other side and not try to paint it because if you try to paint it here and then you try to paint it here it's probably going to be uneven. It's really hard to do that on your own. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did on the top wing on the bottom wing. I'm going to make another loop, transfer, paint it in, then I'm going to go one, two, three. Now if you have more room you might want to do a fourth little loop. It's just to get you started. And if your wings are bigger you're going to need more shapes. And I can barely see it, but I can, so I'm just going to go right on top of that. Now, there's a lot of little polka dots on the wings, you can see. So I'm just going to make some polka dots along the edge, the bottom edge of the wing here. Okay, I think it's that way. Yep, it goes that way, although these are very fragile. I'm just going to make them down there. Now you've got to do this quickly and have enough ink there or they won't transfer. You can only do five or six of them at a time. If you're going to do more than that, fold it, transfer it, and then do the next five or six. So here we go. Five or six. Actually that was seven, but that's okay. And if some spread out a little bigger, that's not a big deal. I'm going to actually make a, a dot that has a hole in the middle. And I'll fill that in. And then maybe some more little dots. So you finish now making your polka dot. Oh, I painted it on both sides. If that happens to you, then just fold it and it becomes symmetrical. Because the both this side prints on that side and that side prints on the other side. And there is my monarch butterfly. Next time we're going to paint warm colors in the middle, the oranges and the yellows, and cool colors on the outside. Do your best work, boys and girls.